I've got a really quick video that I probably should have made a couple of days ago, but I just didn't have time to get around to it. So we're going to do it here today. People on this channel have probably noticed I have not posted a video on Windows 11 on Surface Duo in a little bit of time. And that is because not a whole lot has changed over the last couple of months or so, but that may be about to change very soon. Let's look at this Twitter thread here from Gus himself, the person who is leading the charge on bringing... Uh, Windows 11 to Surface Duo. We'll kind of start here at the top where he's kind of talking about the origin of this project and kind of where it came from. And then we'll move into sort of the news for the day. He said over a year ago, back in September, he had this idea to start on this project, but didn't actually know where it was going to go. The progress has been beyond what he thought it was going to be. He talks about how despite all the flaws of Windows 11 on Duo, that a lot of people have enjoyed the journey. And that he said it's become clear that there were two or maybe three major flaws people really wanted to see addressed before they could try using this as their main device, which he said was unimaginable a year ago, which I totally Totally agree with those things were the ability to boot Windows without another computer or device. So currently, in order to boot into Windows on your Surface Duo, you're gonna have to boot an Android, plug it in your computer, and then run a script basically uh, through ADB to make it boot into Windows. That is a bit of a problem because if you need to reboot your device and you're out and about, you have no way to get back into Windows. Definitely a problem. The ability to dual boot between Android and Windows, which you already can do. You just have to have a computer there to do it. That's kind of a, like the same thing twice almost. And then the ability to have a secured device again. So in order to do this, you have to unlock your bootloader, which renders some programs unusable, right? Like so any app that needs a secured device, some banking apps, will not work with your bootloader unlocked. Now, I did not know personally if these things were ever going to be fixed. It seems like a really big hurdle to jump. However, Gus posted this. I'm happy to report all three things will be addressed soon. Let's mute this video and go back to the beginning. And what you're going to see here as I talk over this is him booting first off into Android. We'll skip ahead a little bit because the boot process is a bit slow. Here we are. We're booting into Android and he shows everything is working just fine. He's now going to simply reboot the device. And what you're going to see is once it begins to boot, he waits just a moment here, he's going to close his Surface Duo and that is going to trigger it to now boot into Windows instead. So he sees this screen here, closes it, opens it back up, and if we skip ahead here a little bit, you will see that it begins booting into Windows instead. So this is absolutely fantastic. And that's pretty much what he says here. You will be able to boot between Windows and Android by having the device closed or open during boot, as well as boot without a PC. And maybe most surprising to me, you will be able to use a certain method here to re-lock the device's bootloader. So all of this stuff is going to be addressed really cool stuff. Now, this is not, to my knowledge, released as of yet. If we go to the Windows on Duo page here and we go to Surface Duo 1, I don't believe any of this stuff. Let's go to the UEFI. Yeah, none of this stuff has been released yet. However, according to Gus, it is coming on the horizon. I would suggest following Gus on Twitter to see these sorts of things as they do happen. Because if you're following this project, you're not going to want to miss out on this stuff very soon. You're going to be able to order a food using McDonald's again, 4K, Netflix, all sorts of really great stuff appears to be coming very soon for Windows 11, the project to bring Windows 11 to Microsoft's Surface Duo. As usual, huge shout out to Gus for this incredible work. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe so that you don't miss it. When this stuff is released, I'm going to do my best to figure it all out and install it on my Surface Duo and then show it to you live in person. So you're going to want to subscribe so you don't miss out on that stuff. Guys, I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.